Hey guys, it's Wade Bosch Iverson here. Um, I've got a card. Sh I went to a card show a couple days ago, and then I got a big old stack of mail back there. Um, so it should be interesting. First of all, for Ike Love 500, um, I have some bad news and some good news. Starting with the bad news, I picked this up before you let me know that you had it <laughs> um, from UD Classics. I picked this up at the show actually. Paid about 15 bucks, 22 out of 99. Nice on-card auto in the Heat Uni. Sorry about that. The good news is, is I picked this up for you. This Daryl Armstrong Skybox Autographics. Uh, I believe he went to Iowa. So that should be nice for your collection. Let me know if you need that or if you want that. Um, I love my Bonnie, 01. I picked this up this three-color patch of Kevin Love from Classics for you. So I now have two patches and an auto for your PC for Kevin Love. If you don't want them, then it'll go into my big man PC. Picked up my, this Mark Eaton Lineage Collection autograph. Really nice autograph for the big man PC. Then I picked up this really nasty dual patch of Carmelo Anthony. I believe this came from the All-Star uniform. It's got a nice three color patch down there from SP Rookie Threads. Really nice looking card. Surprisingly not numbered. Then I picked up this quad patch from UD Black of Chauncey Billups. Gotta love UD Black. I just picked it up because it was UD Black and it was cheap. I paid eight bucks for that. 17 out of 25. And lastly, from Echelon, a dual jersey auto of Chris Bosch. That's number to 25. So, really nice cards from the show. Ike Love, let me know on that Daryl Armstrong, as well as uh, I Love My Bonnie, let me know on the Kevin Love patch. Alright, then I got four packages of mail. I'm going to start with this one. It looks like it's probably the cheapest. Oh, maybe not. This is from the Autograph Kid 1. Somehow he managed to get this huge bubble mailer to ship with only one stamp. I'm quite jealous. Wish I could do that. We made a trade. There's a note. So I got picked up this really cool Baron Davis on card auto that'll go into the B, into the PC from Topps Heritage. Really nice certified auto. That's from 2001, 2002, I believe. And he said a nice note. Hope you enjoy the auto, Baron Davis. Good luck with your Chris Bosch PC. Thanks, the autograph kid one. Great guy, good trader, as I am finding out now. Uh, so definitely check him out. He's got some nice cards. Uh, great guy to work with. Easy to deal with. Um, all in all, great guy. Alright, this one is... I don't know who this is from. I think this might be a YouTube trade as well. Oh, we got two notes. Thanks for the trade and enjoy the Bosch and other cards. Thanks again. AirJMO23. Yeah, this was a trade. Back. Wow, got a lot of cards in there. I don't quite remember what this trade was, but... <laughs> Got a really nice Monte Ellis Bowman Chrome Base, don't have that. Nice Felton Hot Prospects, don't have that. Bosch. Cayman. Star Quest of Bosch, don't have that. SP Authentic, Authentic Profiles of Chris Bosch, don't think I have that. Alright, let's go on to the heads. Shaq Jersey. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember this one. Never mind. A really nice Chris Bosch on card auto from SP Authentic. I sent him a James Harden auto and something. Number 31 out of 50. Really nice card. Really nice dual... Oh, yes! Thank you so much for that. I was looking for one of these. 
uh, Dikembe Mutombo, Richard Jefferson. I told him to pick out a random jersey, so I really appreciate the uh, Dikembe Mutombo, um, Richard Jefferson dual jersey. That's really cool. And then a few more base. I don't have a lot of these. That's quite nice. Thank you, man. And then one more pack. So another great trader, YouTube trader, sent with delivery confirmation and everything. Really, really nice guy. Kind of like Herbie to deal with. We got a bunch of big man cards. Wow, these are cool. Then Baker. <laughs> I remember him for the Sonics. Bill Walton. Sean Kemp. Patrick Ewing, Star Attractions insert. See, this is really cool base. It's not all this modern stuff. It's some of the old stuff that I remember from back in the 90s. Charles Barkley. Thanks, man. I really like the base, actually. Normally, it's just eh, filler, but this is actually really cool for me. Uh, definitely, we'll go into the PC with all that, too. So, some nice pickups there. All right, moving on. We got one from... Let's see, where is that from? Well, something foreign. Let's put it that way. Oh, okay. Eh. Can eBay sellers ever learn how to ship? Gosh. Looks to be in okay condition, though. I don't know what that white crap is, but... Anyway... Flashback Fabrics autographed jersey from SPX of Chris Bosch. Really nice looking card. Must say I miss Upper Deck. Alright, very nice card for the PC there. And last but not least, this one feels heavy. This was ID recorded. Oh, this is, I know what this is from. This is from I Love My Bonnie. We made a trade a while ago. Hopefully he's gotten my package in. Oh no, this isn't from him. This is from a fellow Australian, but I've been really excited about getting this one in. <laughs> uh, finally, I picked up a nice card for the Monte Ellis PC. Um, it's a really nice card. I'll give you a small little sneak preview. 101. Monte Ellis size logo tag. Really nice card from National Treasures. It's really hard to get your hands on anything Monte Ellis just because he doesn't sign at all. That's a really cool card. And it looks to be in an incredible condition. Razor sharp edges, 101. So anyway, I can't say that was a that was a pretty good mail day. Uh, I got picked up some nice cards from YouTubers. Uh, picked up this really gorgeous Monte Ellis from Australia, uh, 101 tag, Bosch Auto Galore, Dikembe Mutombo jersey, lots of cool base. So anyway guys, thanks to the YouTubers that helped me out on that, uh, I appreciate it and see you guys.